What's going on everyone? This is Frosty Mark Gaming here with a little selection Sunday with Clark Kellogg and Greg Gumble in College Hoops 2K8, seeing how close it really is to what happened in real life today with the March Madness brackets coming out in Selection Sunday. Here's the top 25 when I send it. Kentucky, North Carolina, Syracuse, and UCLA on top with Clemson, Baylor, Louisville, Kansas on the top 15. For the bubble watch, there's Arkansas, NC State, Kansas State, Mississippi State, and Northwestern. Some of those were actually real today. For the East Regional number one seed, we have Kentucky, which is exactly how it happened in real life. Kentucky was the number one overall seed in the bracket. They have a lot of talent this year, and they should probably go really far into in the March Madness. For the second overall seed, North Carolina, there were three in real life. They also have a lot of good defense and long, lengthy people that can block shots like John Henson. For some reason, UCLA became a three seed overall, or a number one seed, but the third overall team. I don't know how that happened. And Syracuse is the number four one seed. Pretty close. They were number two, I think, and Michigan State was number four in real life. So it, it was pretty close, but UCLA snuck in there somehow. I don't know how that happened. So we have Kentucky and North Carolina on the east and south, and UCLA and Syracuse on the other side. To start, there's Kentucky, number one, with the play-in winner. Oh yeah, 27-5. and five. South Florida, Wake Forest make up the 8 and 9. South Florida made it this year too. They're a bubble team to watch for. Number 5 and number 12 is Florida State and Bradley. Pittsburgh and Murray State, 4 and 13. Murray State was a little higher in real life, but it slipped in here a little bit. Maryland and Northwestern, Oklahoma State and Montana. Oklahoma and Miami, Florida, 7 and 10. Vanderbilt snuck in at a number 2 in here. They were a number 5, I think, in real life. I think they're actually going to go pretty far, at least to the Sweet 16 this year. I see them pulling together at the right time. For the North Carolina side, they're playing New Mexico State. And then for the number 5 and 12, Oregon and Ball State. Indiana, pretty close. They're a 4 seed. That's pretty close to real life. And Florida made up the number 3 seed there. Iowa State and Butler. Butler didn't make it this year, so there's no chance at all they're going to 3 peat to the national championship game because they made it the last two years. And for the Midwest region, UCLA plays Long Beach State. Arizona and Austin P, Kansas, and Boston University. Kansas lost 10 games, surprisingly. Wisconsin was the number four seed, and Baylor is the number three in this bracket. With Connecticut, my favorite team, coming up on the number seven, and Marquette and Brown at the two and 15. I think Marquette could go far this year, too. They're pretty athletic and small, and I think they're, they match up well with the teams around them in their bracket. Now to the West Regional with Syracuse, with Ohio State playing Valparaiso, the 5-12. and 12. VCU made it at a 6 seed, and Duke with the number 3 seed. Memphis and Stanford make up the 7-10, and 10. and Clemson somehow only lost 8 games and made a number 2 seed, playing BYU at the 15. And so there's the top 4 teams in each regional, the East, South, Midwest, and West. Kentucky... Texas surprisingly got up there too at number two. I don't know how that happened along with Oklahoma State. Those were some weird... I mean, it was pretty close to real life, just a little bit off than I thought. So, that's uh, who's in and who's out right now for the Kyle Chooks version. And this is me checking out. Stay frosty, y'all!